Hello everyone. Now, today we're going to look at how to calculate the cost of goods sold for manufacturing companies. So, uh, last time we learned about calculate cost of goods sold for merchandising company. Do you remember that? We will take beginning inventory plus purchase and that will give us the cost of goods available for sales and we minus um, the inventory at the end then we will have cost of goods sold but for manufacturing company it will be a little bit different so um, to find the cost of goods sold for manufacturing company we will take finished good of inventory at the beginning add cost of good manufacturers Okay, as cost of good manufacture. So we will change from cost of good purchase become cost of good manufacture. Alright. And that will give you cost of good available for sales. Now after we have cost of good available for sales, we minus finish good inventory at the end and that will give us cost of good sold. Okay, so again, take the finished good inventory at the beginning, add the cost of the goods that you manufacture. That will give you the cost of good available for sales. Then you minus finished good inventory at the end, and that will give you cost of goods sold. Now the question is, how can we find the cost of goods available? Uh, sorry, cost of good manufacture. How can we find the cost of good manufacture? So to find the cost of good manufacture, there's some step to do that. All right. At the beginning, you will take the work in process beginning. Do you remember work in process beginning? Is the uh, cost of the inventory that we are in the process of producing. We haven't finished uh, producing them yet. So we call it work in process at the beginning. And then we add the total manufacturing cost. Okay. And we D minus the work in process at the end. And that will give us cost of good manufacture. Okay. One more time. Work in process at the beginning you know the cost of the products that we are still in process of producing it at total manufacturing cost and that that will be uh, then we will less the work in process at the end and that will give us cost of good manufacture now how can we find total manufacturing cost so last time we learned that the manufacturing costs include three type of costs remember that we have direct material use, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. So to find the total manufacturing cost, you will need to find how much material that you use, the cost of material that you use in the production process, at the cost of the direct labor that you use, at the manufacturing overhead that actually incur and that will give you total manufacturing cost. Now, how can we find the direct material use? To find how much material that we use, we will take the raw material at the beginning, add raw material that we purchase, how much is the cost of raw material that you purchase during the period. That will give you total raw material available and then you less raw material at the end and that will give you the raw material uh, that you use okay again to find the raw material that we use take the raw material at the beginning add how much is the raw material that we purchase minus the raw material that we have at the end and that will give us the raw material that we use and then we're going to add the direct labor cost that we use and the manufacturing overhead and that will give us total manufacturing cost okay so again work in process at the beginning add total manufacturing cost minus work in process at the end 
and that will give us cost of goods manufacture all right and so from the cost of good manufacture you can find out cost of goods sold goods sold in the income statement and find out how much is your cross profit by taking net sales minus cost of goods sold and that will give you cross profit